specifics about any particular perpetrators, but the first thing that I'm going to share with you is a photograph that this boy, when he was 14 years old, sent to Gary Goddard. This was one of the photos he sent where he said, show me your body so we can see, you know, help you in your career. This happens to be in the photo. And the boy. And the boy. What are these people thinking when this young boy is hanging out at this party? Eventually, they established what my client thought was a mentorship and what we allege is grooming. Over the grooming, my client turned 15. He asked my client to send him more explicit photos. Ultimately, this young boy sent him nude photographs. Then they did an online chatting, and we allege in a complaint that Gary Goddard and my client engaged in nude chatting. My client was nude while Gary Goddard masturbated. When my client turned 16, Gary Goddard traveled to Great Britain, had my client come down to London to meet him there, where they engaged in sexual activity, specifically anal intercourse. They will be. When, in about 2006, my client receives a communication inviting him to come down to a special event, and they invite him to come down, which turns out to be the Superman premiere in London. My client arrives, 17 years old, he arrives at this premiere event. He's told he's going to be riding with Brian Singer. Brian takes him and brings him onto the red carpet. Brian Singer takes him into an after party, where he offers him a quaalude, which my client at 17 does not accept, and then they give him a drink. He drinks it, says he feels very intoxicated. He gets invited back to an after party, or the after-after party in Brian Singer's suite. And under the pretense of showing him some Superman memorabilia, Brian Singer and Gary Goddard take this 17-year-old boy into the bedroom. They begin to try to do sexual things to him. He resists. He says no. He's uncomfortable. Gary Goddard leaves the room and comes back with a big muscle-bound man. And he physically manhandles my client. He pushes him around. He holds him while Brian Singer starts to take off his clothes. After a little while, they tell this man, the big man, to leave. And my client says, I want to leave. I'm uncomfortable. And then he's told, well, Brian says to him, if you just get on top of me and do some sort of masturbatory thing, then you can leave. My client complies, which he does while Gary Goddard is in the room. We allege that he is laying on top of my client at 17, is laying on top of Brian Singer naked and performs this type of sexual activity. And so... This case is now filed. It will move forward in the discovery process. It's a federal case, and so what happens is the courts will... Again, I don't want to get into the playing with the statements other lawyers make. And so our giants are not so sympathetic. They eat people, yes. They step on them and they do other things. 